Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. Good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Kelvin Davis, Ais Solano in what should be a really intriguing fight. I'm into this fight. Uh, this should be a good one. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. $5 a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world. Gets you the lock of the week, which will be out today. It gets you it's the lock of the week. It gets you as to bookie anything. It gets you the updated props. It gets you request a video. It gets you all of the best gambling advice. It's $5 a month. So join the Patreon. Uh, also, guys, head on over to carnivalbar.com. That is carnivalbar.com. It's the nutrition of a steak with the convenience of, of a snack. That is carnivalbar.com. On the move nutrition without compromise. Use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. That's uh, promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Uh, also, subscribe to the Town Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that town go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Kelvin Davis, Southpaw, good footwork. Not as athletic as Keyshawn. Nice, long jab, off the back foot a bit. Doesn't have much pop. He's got a little bit of that British style that I talk about, where it's a little bit more amateurish. He's looking to score. He's looking to score. He's not really putting punches one thing doesn't really set up the other. He's not really sitting down or, or, or delivering his shots. He's just kind of winging them, looking to score points. And he's got skills. He's trained well. He, he was taught to fight. He knows how to box, but there's not – he knows how to box without knowing how to fight kind of thing, right? He's not sitting down on his punches. He's not looking to hurt you. He's just looking to score on his shots. Uh, again, he doesn't really commit to him. He doesn't set things up. He's just throwing shots to score, and he can do that. And – through most levels, it's going to carry him because he, he he's long, decently athletic, and he's got good skills. I mean, he he, he was taught to box well. Uh, decent slickness, decent movement. He can make you miss. He's got good defensive skills. Slip shots make you miss on the inside. Uh, but it doesn't make you pay. When he makes you miss, it doesn't make you pay. Again, he, he, it's not all there. Not a high-volume guy, very selective, a lot of single shots, single shots, one, two, but never three and four punch combinations. Um, he doesn't let his hands go like that. He doesn't have that super speed and twitch like Keyshawn. He's long and rangy guy. Uh, targeting, he's okay as a sniper from the outside. He's got good skills. He's, he's, he's a good boxer. He, he was taught to box properly. He's good fundamentally sound. He doesn't establish himself physically. Or coming forward. He can be backed up and pushed around. He blocks shots well on the inside, but he doesn't count. He doesn't let his hands go. He's defensive minded. He's just not a hitter. He's a defensive minded guy. Good fundamentals, good skills. It's just not all clicking for him at a professional level because he doesn't establish himself offensively. He doesn't have a lot of power and he doesn't look to really hurt you. He just looks to kind of score shots. And I say, like, in in a British sense, right? Like, I always knock Eddie Hearn's British guys for this. Like, let your hands go. Like, turn your shots over. Set one, set things up. And he just, he's not doing that right now. Ais Solano, on the other hand, out of uh, Colombia, I believe, Southpaw, he's slow, he's aging, he likes to come forward, he gets wild. I, I wrote a little while, hits more than a little wild. And he gets unhinged. He throws wide, long shots. He's not ultra fast. He's kind of actually slow. He's aging. You go back, you watch the videos from 2019. His speed was a lot better. So he's slowing down. He's taking three consecutive losses. Gets sloppy and wild. He's got good pop. And he really commits to his shots. And he loves his power a little bit more than he should. Um, he works his angles well. Good feet. But, you know, then he's just loading up. Throwing big shots. Fights on the inside. Can make it ugly. Doesn't work his jab enough, right? So it, it, the question just becomes, can he get on the inside and make it ugly enough and break Keyshawn, uh, break Kelvin Davis down? 
right? Can you just make it ugly, just break him down, hurt him, and slow him down and get him out in the later rounds, drop him, stop him, whatever. Kelvin Davis is a much better boxer. Uh, Solano's no pushover. This is, by, I think, by far the biggest test of, of, of Kelvin Davis's career. Uh, Solano's been in tough. He's been in with good fighters. 15-3. and three, He has three consecutive losses. Uh, he won on show back, back, back on, on 2019. He put together some good wins. Since then, you know, he took a year and a half off with COVID. He's lost to Mike Juan Williams. Um, he's lost to Alberto Palmetta. Good fighter. Eight-round fight. That was a really good fight back in 2021. And then he lost to Gabriel Golez. He got stopped by him, and that was in 2023. So he's been inactive. He fought twice in 2021, didn't fight in 2022, fought once in 2023, got stopped. So since 2021, he's only fought once, and he just stopped in six rounds uh, by Gabriel Golez Valenzuela. Uh, I think this depends a lot on Solano. If he comes to fight, he can make this interesting. If he comes to get a paycheck, it's, it's going to be ugly. He's just going to lose every round. Yeah, I'm going to take Calvin Davis, minus 575. I, I I think there's not much we can do with this fight. I don't love the fight. I don't love the odds. Take Calvin Davis. I'm going to bring up the odds right now. One times bet. I like the fight to go the distance. I don't have a prop on it, guys. Come on over to me tomorrow. Let's take a look at this tomorrow, see if they drop props on this, because the only bet I really like is for this fight to go the distance if the odds are favorable. Kelvin Davis at minus 575, $100 bet. I don't think this is a lock enough to really build your parlay around, although he should win. Kelvin Davis at minus 575, $100 bet makes you 1739. It's not great. It is what it is. I like the fight to take the over. So head on over to me tomorrow. If you Head on over to the Patreon. Join the Patreon. If you have not joined the Patreon, do it. It's just $5 a month. And we'll, we'll look at the props on this because I, I think that's a better bet than just taking this one time bet on Kelvin Davis at minus minus. 575 to make 17.39 on a hundred dollar bet. All right, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow three boxing, three boxing blog, and all forms of social media. The boxing bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The book, uh, I don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm gonna show you how to bring down the house, get the lock of the week. It is October, November 6, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.